Here are five major red flags you should avoid when buying a used Tacoma. All right, so first major red flag is built Tacomas. Whatever you do, try to stay away from built Tacomas. Now, the reason why I say that is because, let's be honest, if you're buying a used Tacoma that already has a lift kit and big wheels, chances are they off-roaded the truck. And who knows, they might have even abused the truck while off-roading, and that's something that you won't know. Also, if you see a Tacoma that has 20-inch wheels, just, just, just walk away. 20 inch wheels have no business being on Tacomas. 18 inch wheels is the max in my opinion. Second major red flag is long bed Tacomas. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that long bed Tacomas don't look as good as short bed Tacomas. And on top of that, you still get horrible gas mileage and lack of power. So there's really no benefit of having a long bed Tacoma other than that extra foot in the back. But let's be honest, there's so many aftermarket parts that you can add to your short bed Tacoma to give you that extra foot that a long bed Tacoma would give you. So just keep that in mind. Third major red flag is snorkel equipped Tacomas. If you thought a hood scoop was useless on a Tacoma, a snorkel takes a dub on that one. Now yes, a snorkel does look pretty cool, but when are you ever going to really use a snorkel? Let's be honest, a Tacoma was meant to off-road, not to turn into a submarine. And even if you ever really did put your Tacoma in the water having a snorkel, that's I feel like that's going to potentially cause damages because let's be honest, if you were to really submerge your Tacoma in the water up to where the snorkel's at, what's all that water going to do? It's going to get inside of the truck and on top of that, what's that going to do to all your electronic stuff? I'm pretty sure that's going to cause issues, so stay away from those snorkel Tacomas unless you just want to have a useless snorkel. Fourth major red flag is 2016 Tacomas. Try to stay away from the first year of the third gen Tacoma. Now the reason why I say that is because they're super problematic, not just with Tacoma, but every first year generation of a vehicle always has to, always has problems. So try to stay away from the 2016 unless it already has a little bit higher mileage because if it already has a bit higher mileage, then most likely the previous owners already addressed all these recalls and all these issues on the Tacoma. So preferably just try to, try to buy a 2017 and above, at least a, a later 2017 and above. Those tend to have less issues. And lastly, Try to stay away from Tacomas that look like this. Even if I got this truck for free, I would not feel comfortable driving around like that. If any of you can come up with a good name for that Tacoma, let me hear it in the comments. I want to know. All right, real quick, before I end the video, I want to give a quick shout out to Jeremiah. This is his third gen Tacoma. Another shout out goes to Hunter on his second gen Tacoma. And then lastly, we got Biggie. This is his third gen Tacoma on cement gray, which has been discontinued now, which makes the color even better. If you guys want me to shout out your Tacoma in the next video, DM me pictures on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to show off your guys' Tacomas. But that's pretty much it for this video. I'm hoping you found this video somewhat entertaining and helpful. Until next time, Gooner, we'll see you in the next video.